Good morning. Uh, so back to Snippet Pixie again, as usual. Um, so today, uh, I believe we are going to attempt to get to the point where we actually paste in snippets. So you can find a snippet um, and select it, and it will paste into whatever application you had in the background, I think. Depends on how far we get. Um, so we've got to the point um, on my last session whereby the listing was working okay. Um, and we could select them uh, and we're catching the event. Uh, but we don't do anything with it yet. We basically haven't passed it on. So let's... Um, Let's get a version up and running so that we can have a quick look at that. Terminal. Um, so we have this, um, and we can select up and down. Uh, we can go to the end, the beginning, page, down, up. Um, and then when you hit return on something in the background, it does a catch of that event, but you can't see it at the moment. Um, I think it's probably easier if I show that my browser first. I'm going to need that. So there's the console. Um, and if I enter here and I hit this, we get an event and it includes the snippet and that's it. So what we want to do is pass that on to um, the backend Go daemon um, and say, hey, I would like to paste this, please. Um, and then say bye. And then the window closes and then the daemon will then expand and paste it into whatever app then gets focus we hope i believe that's kind of what i used to do with the existing version of snippet pixie so um, i haven't checked in a while but i think that should be it so okay um so we're in the list snippets screen here um and what we need now is for it to pass that back. Oh, I did have a little thought before I carry on. Um, I need to make sure that this is correct. Yeah, okay. I suddenly had a, uh, a thought this morning. Um, here, I'm looking for numbers, um, and then I am not checking before I hit the handle event. Um, hit, I'm not checking that I've selected an index that exists. Um, so I could hit eight, but I might only have six available. So, for example, right, so I'm just going to make sure it actually does go bang. It will, I'm pretty sure. But if I do DT here and enter the list, so there's only one through five there. So if I then hit eight, I think we're going to get an error. Oh, we're just getting undefined. Okay. Oh, well. That's okay, but not what we want. So let's just do a quick check. Um, uh, what's the 
best way to check that then. I've got an index, I've um, got a, a length, haven't I? So, um, Oh, I can do it really simply, actually. I don't even need to do all that process in there. So if... Event key is greater than... Oops. Items.length. Turn. Oh. Turn false. And uh, why? I'm having a bad day of typing today. Um, yeah. That should do. Let's see. We'll just clear out the console there, tab down. Uh, so if I hit eight again now, it does nothing. If I hit five, we get something. If I hit, let's just make sure, if I hit zero, Oh, okay. Well, that might be because <laughs> it didn't do the wrap around. And then there's if I hit six, it should do nothing. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't the right way to do it, was it? Um, okay, I just have to do it the proper way, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of unwrap it, I guess. So if um, index plus one. Yeah. That should do. That's all we need to do. Uh, because the zero would become one, so that's the length of one. And we've already fixed up um, hidden zero, which becomes number nine. Um, so we're looking for the tenth item. So that's fine. That should work. Let's check it. So if I hit five, we should get that one again. Now it looks good. If I hit zero, get nothing. If I hit six, get nothing. If I hit one, I get DT. That's fine. Good. Okay. Quick little bug fix there. Don't know how that came to me. Right. Um, 
I will just commit that. Now, back to the main thing. Right, so we need to do something here. Um, in here, we need to call basically a go thing and then exit. Um, so let's do a go thing. Don't really have... We have an expand. But we haven't hooked that up yet. So let's have a look. Um, we have an expand abbreviation, but we don't have um, that can expand and paste. So this will be interesting because this affects at the moment this interface I got here also applies to the CLI. Hmm. That could be fun. could leave it to the client to do the application. I mean, that could happen with just get uh, the expand abbreviation already. So don't really need that. No, I think I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, I just need to do more work than I thought. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to have another interface function here. Um, and I'll have it called... Expand and paste. Yeah.
the daemon to paste. A snippet. Yeah, I think I'll leave it on that. In fact, I could just call it paste. Eh? In fact, let's say paste snippet because it's the Yeah, we'll just do that. Um, so we we'll give it the abbreviation. We don't expect any return. Because in each case, we don't really care. It's either going to happen or it's not. And by the time it happens, in theory, whatever called it has gone away. Let's put in a delay. Int as well. Uh, yeah. And that would be the number of milliseconds. So, you know, 500 would be half a second before you do the paste. And we'll default it in the clients, I guess. Is that double L? Okay. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So in the daemon, I guess. Going to need to start picking this up. It's ages since I've been in here. So then we do the run. Do the thing. And then we wait for the manager. Okay. Let's do yeah so the manager does the waiting on stuff ah that's the database side of things what we want it's the debus stuff. Okay. So um, I'm just going to close it off because it's not needed at the moment. 
So at the moment, we've got these services. Um, you can see we've got the expand there. Um, so we've got get snippets and get snippet with abbreviation. We've got the ping as well. Um, and we remove snippet um, and the sync snippets, which is for basically an export or import rather. Um, and also the, the add snippet. Uh, we want the, effectively, we want to do fancy expand. Um, so let's take that signature. And we will just stick it at the end here. So it's a service called paste snippet. It takes an abbreviation and a delay um, and it returns nothing that should it return a dbus error. Hmm. Don't think so. Why is that two? That doesn't need to be two. Any other error twos? No. Must have been a rename at some point. Probably a clash when I imported a package. That'll probably break everything in a minute, but we'll see. Um, right. Yeah, that's not going to affect interface, is it? Mm, we're good. We're fine. Okay. So. We basically want to do. That. But we just return if there's a problem. We are then. All right, we don't care about the cursor offset. We do care about the body though. Um, so when you paste, you can't you can't position the cursor. Um, it's only when we're doing auto expansion that we have full control of the cursor and we can go, all right, okay, um, I want to expand this here and then put the cursor there. Um, so you could, you can manipulate it. 
we've got a little placeholder in snippets that you can do that use that for otherwise it goes to the end of the snippet um so now i guess we've got to do the paste um which will be interesting now we've got some paste stuff and we already now where where did i use that that was I can't think now didn't use it in here, did I? No, that would have been in. Where did I use that? Uh, right, so I used it in. Oh, if I go here, I'll be able to find it. It'll be in placeholders. Clipboard. Right, so basically we just need to do a clipboard right. Say so we're doing text, because that's all we do at the moment in snippets. And then give it a um, byte buffer. Slice of bytes. So. And then we're going to basically need to do a control V after that. That'll be interesting. Not sure if I can do that yet. <laughs> um, so I'll have to look for a package that allow. Kind of need to do an X test. Mm, okay. But let's get let's get to the point of sticking stuff in the pasteboard first, and then we'll worry about trying to get that out. Um, so uh, we want to do um, the opposite of that. Clipboard in it, yeah. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so I'll need to do them. And it just does read, okay. In that case, it just turns into a string. Whereas I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do as per here. I'm basically going to create a byte slice, slice of bytes from a string. Okay, um, so I also need that. So it's going to sign X clipboard. Right then, um, now do I just do it in here? It's definitely kind of service based. Because of the delay. Do it in here for the moment. <clears throat> Just done it. So if error, if we, have, if we can't, for whatever reason, get the clipboard. <clears throat> mm, this is going to be a bit too quiet, isn't it? No. It's going to be an issue probably at some point. Um, we will see. the right and then let's just put in a little thing here if delay is greater than zero <laughs> then uh, We will do um, I don't know how to wait. How do I wait in um, 
in go. Um, if I go to package and then standard, I wonder if it'll. If there's anything that I'll just jump out as. Might be OS. That's time display. Hmm. Let's just do a quick search. Go lang. Um, sleep, basically. There's a sleep function, okay. Time slip. Huh. Cool. Right then, let's double check the docs. Uh, time. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. That. Because I want it in milliseconds. Okay, so if delay is greater than blah, time sleep, delay. Oh, hello. So oh, I've got to create a duration. <laughs> uh. Okay, back to the docs for that. Uh. Hello. Oh, in 64, that might do it. Okay, let's try that. No, <clears throat> that is important. That's in uh, in sixty four though. 
So how do I do? Right, so I'm going to have to multiply it up, aren't I? Wow. Oh no, I could just do the, um, right, let's do that. Let's just do pass. Yeah, okay, so I need to do error handling and all that kind of stuff there. Don't want to do all that. Okay, let's just make it. Um, something wrong there that doesn't make sense Hmm. Okay, what I'll do then. Uh, 
It's a pain, that. I don't understand why that thinks that works. But it doesn't here. Hold on. No, time millisecond times. So, I mean, that is effectively the same as that. But it doesn't like it. See that? Okay, well, that should work. Let's try again. It's a bad day today. I'm also not quite awake. Not enough coffee, I think. I'll right, we'll try that. Um, and then maybe I can log something just to... do the thing. Um, have I even got a login in here at the moment? I haven't, have I? That's a bit of a pain. I'll just have to do that. Just for a bit of debug at the moment. Just want to see that the delay works basically. I want to log it. Okay. So that is the service. set up and should just do its thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not expecting an apply. And then I should be able to uh, in here create a endpoint for um, the GUI to call from JavaScript. Oops. So 
So we're going to call it paste. So for the app, the GUI app, we're going to create a paste snippet function. And we don't expect any reply. We're just going to do it. Uh, it's going to take a delay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because what we'll do is actually don't need the delay in here. I can grab it from from preferences if I need to. Although, yeah. Although I haven't said that, it might be easier <laughs> to test um, if I just muck about with the GUI. So let's do that. Um, okay, so. I'm just going to call it and exit because that's what's going to happen. Um, exists, exits father. We are going to basically do a serve um, paste snippet. Now we're just going to pass on the abbreviation. Have a delay. And that's it. And then we'll just do um, is there an exit or anything like that? Close. Maybe I can just do an exit then. Maybe I should double check the docs for whales on that one because there might be a clean way. Hmm, actually, I just really want the window to go away. And it says, okay, paste on exit, please. Yeah, so, um, I can catch that.
Is there no window closed? Hmm. Ah, that's what I want. Quit. Hmm. Okay. Let's do that then. Uh, so we will just do... What is the uh, runtime quit? And then presumably a CTX, okay. Let's call it quit then. Why is that complaining? Oh. Please snip it. And then we quit. Oh. Oops. Yeah, okay, that's not going to work, is it? This is going to wait before it returns. So, that means I probably need to just spin that off. Into a go routine. I guess. So it's a bit like um, yeah, so I kind of need to do this. to 
it an anonymous function, I think. Um, that just does that uh, delay stuff in the background. In fact, what kind of context does it have? Oh, it doesn't matter. If I've already written to the clipboard, I can just access the clipboard. So let's do that. Okay. So that should do that. Pass nothing in. And then it will do. to do, paste, okay, he says, confidently, right, okay, so the app's going to do that, now in the window, right, I need to save that, and I just need to do another couple of things. So I need to rebuild the daemon. That's been going for two weeks. Not caused any problems. That's nice to know. Right. Uh, so I'll kill the daemon and then I'll make it. See what happens. Taking this time. Actually, my machine's quite busy at the moment. I don't know what's going on. Okay, and then we'll just run it again. And then I will do I'll do the I'll do the usual um just do the GUI here. Right, so this is gonna generate Assume it works. It didn't. Can I use deeper service type services type service blah blah and return like what? Oh. What did I call it? And that exists. What's going on? Paste snippet. Maybe it's got to return something. Paste snippet. What was the error? Can I use deeper service type service as type deeper service deeper service and return argument? Service. Which 
Oh, I haven't actually implemented the service. Oh. Yeah, okay. All I implemented was um, the back end of it. It says confused now. Oh, it's so long since I looked at this stuff. Yeah, okay. So here I'm bringing it up. Get the name. Turn service. And then we need to hang off that service and do things. Okay, but we're going to do very little in here. Okay, this is the client side thing. Okay, I forgot about that. Okay, right, so yeah, what, what I'm missing is, right, so we've got the debug service here. This is accepting um, an abbreviation and delay. Um, but we haven't actually done the thing which calls it yet. So we need to call it uh, here. I will basically copy... No, I won't copy that. I'll copy this again. Just to make sure. Right, so now let's create the service. Cooler, sorry. Don't expect a return. And we're basically going to do this, but we don't care about the result. We're not storing anything. Uh, but we are passing in the delay as well. And is that going to be happy? Yeah, that's it. Just going to do it. Oh, 
might at some point return an error because it might be better to say oh hold on a minute there is no service hmm we'll see okay right so that's the client side thing and we are now calling that correctly here. Okay. So a couple of checks then. I just want to make sure that that means that hasn't changed. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Got that. And then, right, let's see what we, that this compiles now. And that should generate the bindings as well. Okay. So we should have this up and running now. Now. Gonna zoom that up actually. Right, we, what we expect is at some point we're gonna get some output on the daemon. So I now need to implement that. So here I'm just going to basically go. Uh, I gotta remember it now. Oh yeah, import. <laughs> it's all changed. Um, so I should be able to. Import. Paste snippet and quit. Uh, that's coming from the bindings. Uh, and I should, in theory, I guess, just be able to go paste snippet and quit. Um, event detail snippet abbreviation. I'll give it a delay of, or oh, should we give it half a second for the moment just to see what's going on? Make sure we get something visible. And then if I save that, and I'll do this in the console. But let's no, I'll do this. Um, take this across here. What I'm hoping is going to happen is this is going to die <laughs> when I do this in here. I want to do it in here because I want to see the uh, console log. Um, so I'll just move this down so you can see it better. So I'm expecting some output here for the actual snippet being picked. And then I'm going to go back to the here and we should see some output in theory. So let's do always developing so we get an expansion of the date it's died it's gone and we didn't get any output there okay but I know why because we haven't got a log but 
if I go, oh, I've got a thing here. What's in the, let's see what's in the clipboard. So if I paste the clipboard, oh, it's not. Okay. So it's not in there. Hmm. Okay. So what went went wrong? D bus. I will need to find a different way of logging out. Is that not going to work then? Oh. No, that should work. Okay, let's just do um see that that worries me that it's not working because that I think that that should cover the log working, but it's not. So I'm gonna have to use our standard out, I think. We'll just try and see what's going on. I have a feeling it's not working. Let's do a quick test. Um, I'll just grab the uh, bits from here. Go and grab that. that this is just test stuff really so
So this in theory should work. And get a log. Okay, right, let's try again. Um, make that smaller. And then over here, we'll just do a quick refresh. Hello. Why is that not working now? Now it's working. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's go down here. Get this. Did the do. <sighs> Not getting any. Not getting it coming in. Why? Interesting. Is it closing out too quick? Hmm. It's not waiting for that. And I suppose we don't know whether it's even getting it. Didn't test to see whether I've got anything with clipboard. No, that's the old clipboard. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm a bit lost actually why that's not working. Let's um let's not quit. Let's see what happens. It's interesting that it's doing this at the moment as well. I wonder if that's an indicator of something being a bit off. Hmm. Where maybe it's because I'm doing it through the browser. We'll see. Mm, okay. What's the bit and then right this last thing here then we will do do this and we'll just return an error or not rather. So uh, it's not equal to nil. Oh, no, I just realized what the problem is. <laughs> undo, 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 undo. <laughs> I'm not calling the right thing. That service is called... Paste snippet. <laughs> it's... Ugh. Copy and paste error. Oh. Right. So in the D bus, right? Is the D bus okay? Yeah, it is. I'm probably going to get two logs now because it is actually going to get called, hopefully. And then D bus service. We don't need the error anymore. I don't need it. Um, and then in the app. Again, don't need the error. Um, just don't do that. And I'm going to 
presume I've done it right if I do that. Okay, so oh, thank you. I didn't want that just now. Uh, I'm going to close it up actually because I need to fix up the other bits first. Um, so debug service. Okay, and dbus, just looking at k, and service is looking at k. Save all the things, kill that, make clear, rebuild, uh, sorry, rerun. Then I should be able to do, yeah. So in theory, I can just run this again. I wonder why it's doing that. That's new. <laughs> okay. Uh, always developing. Killed it. Yeah, fine. Oh, nothing. Yeah, I know that. Did I get anything in the buffer though? Probably not, eh? Nope. Okay. Mm, okay. Let's just double check. So we're coming in here. Well, the pace service, we're doing that. We're implementing it by calling the service pace snippet with abbreviation and delay. And then in the dbus handler, paste snippet, abbreviation delay, We're not getting any output. I can't really do. Um, I don't really want to return anything from here. It is funny that it's not logging anything. So let's just double check a couple of things here. Do the double thing here. And I'm just going to say Got snippet 
to paste. I'll just have this one. I just want to make sure we are actually receiving something here. Because I have a feeling something somewhere is not right on the way in. Paste snippet. Paste snippet. I hope it's not because I haven't set up the CLI to work with it yet. Because the uh, the command line interface now needs to um, also handle... Oh, it's in the service, so it's okay. Just need to use it. Okay, nothing there. Hit return. No, it's not even getting to it. Let's do a quick double check on that because you know, I might just be misunderstanding this login at the moment. Let's do get snippets because we know that's happening. Okay, so that login works, both variations. So, that is something weird. Stopping it from getting the paste. Let's um, let's just come in there. Okay, so we're still doing that. Let's kill that. that. Again. Okay. 
if I do DT here, did it? DTS. Nothing. Okay. Well, I've definitely run out of time now anyway. Um, something funny going on there. Why is it not getting it? Very strange. It might be because I need to maybe return an error. Let me just double check. It's not doing a return. Return in void. Let's show how it does. Hmm, don't think it's this end. I guess I could... I think I can lock something here, can I?
I... Oops. Stop it. Bring back my terminal here. Just move that over there. Yeah, well, I was definitely going into it. Well, we know that because it did the quit. So it's. Yeah. Something about the call. I might have to put arrows on. Okay, let's do that again. So we're going to return an error. And then in app. care about the error. And then in dbus itself. Not return. Pointer to a debus error. Turn arrows there. And then here we just return now. Now I'm not quite sure what happens with this. We'll see. Whether it will keep on running until it's done, or whether because it's within the function, it'll uh, also get collected up or not. I don't know. It should, but should um, continue running. I hope, but I don't know. I don't know about go uh, go routines yet. Enough. Still learning. Okay, um, and then here, we're going to just return an error. Uh, and then, well, basically, we just return from this. He says, but we can't. Just do the standard stuff. Uh, 
Thank you for explicit, I suppose. Wow. So it's the store that might return an error. And call returns a call. Okay. Snuff. There we go. Right. So, in theory, the service, the client service, is picking up on an, a, an error and maybe returning it or nil. The debug service itself, uh, so the interface, specifies that an error is going to happen, maybe. The dbus service itself is going to return a dbus error, potentially. Uh, yep, 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 yep. And then let me just do a. I've got the service there. And then in the app, We've got that. We're going to do... We don't care about the error. And then potentially quit, but we're not going to really... For the moment. Okay. So... Take that over here. Clear that out. Actually, we'll just do a refresh of that one. Lots have changed. Okay. Over here. Make. Uh, here we go. We didn't even notice it. Hmm. Right. And then we hit... Actually, let's refresh this to make sure the snippets get searched. They do come down here and hit that got the object did it okay so it needed an error the dbus service always needs to return an error apparently okay yay right okay so what happened there it wrote to the clipboard and then it said doing a sleep and all that kind of stuff. So it's done it all.
So in that case, let's see if it really works. I'll be here. On this, go in there. And then let's do... Something really awkward. <laughs> no, I probably shouldn't do that. Let's do that. Oh. What I wanted to do was quit it. All right, well, first of all, let's just double check. Anything in the buffer? Yes. Okay, good. It did do the paste. Sorry, uh, the copy. Let's uncomment that. And then, there we go. Let's do something like, actually I want a date. So we'll do that date and hit return. Now in theory, that put it into the buffer. Yes. Cool. Success. Okay, so we have the copy into the paste. Working on quit. Thank goodness. All right, so let's take out some of that Deepak stuff. Uh, we're good there. We are needing that to go. Bus is okay. Service is okay. And then it's the D bus where we've got all the debug stuff. So we want to get rid of that and that. That and that. And that's what we're going to do next. Right, so one last test then. Um, we'll just start it up again. And in here, we'll do always developing, dink, and paste, and we're good. Nothing in the, oh, doing get snippets. Uh, oops, missed one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was in the right place. Okay, and uh, nothing in there. Cool. Righto. I am saving that off.
Although it's still got a lot of debug in it, hasn't it? Um, GUI can select snippet and hit gets to paste. So I want that hunk. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's all okay. That should be okay. I already had it committed on the console.log there. Let's take that out. Take that out as well. That's okay. I don't mind the to do in there for the paste. We need that. Come back, that's fine. terrible actually. Terrible, terrible message. Um, implement fact, yeah, no, I'll do that. GUI uh, search and paste. No. To board still need to implement paste into background app. Do Just want to make sure that everything's saved away. Okay, right. Done. That's fine. Okay. Well, uh, it was a bit longer than I expected, um, but achieved quite a lot there, uh, getting that paste working. So the next thing, uh, no, getting the copy working. Uh, so the next thing will be to get the paste working, uh, which hopefully isn't too bad, but we'll see. Um, it's going to mean implementing keystrokes and stuff uh, usually. So we'll see. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.